Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech, and today I'm going to be talking quickly about something that everyone really probably doesn't want to do with their smartphones, is drop them. Now, I've done a couple of reviews on the channel on the OtterBox series of cases for the Samsung S20 Ultra. I did it before on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and, you know, theoretically, I, I don't do drop tests on my channel. I know some other channels, you know, drop things from huge amounts of heights and, you know, try to see where the cases break and all of that. Uh, I just don't do that because I don't really want to break my phones or risk anything like that. But I have had this phone for a few months now and I've been using the OtterBox commuter case for the Samsung S20 Ultra, as I mentioned, and I did drop it. So this was one of the things where I got out of my car in my driveway. I went to grab my phone out of my pocket and it crashed to the ground. Um, luckily, the phone itself is not damaged. I have the Samsung screen protector on there, the one that came with the phone. And the only thing that happened is I got just a real light scratch on the screen protector. I don't even know if you can see it. It's just a super light scratch there because it did kind of hit on the bottom flip around, hit on the top, and then it landed face down. So, so the fact that the phone itself didn't get damaged is something good. <laughs> yeah, so this has the D-Baron Swarm skin on the back. You know, nothing on the phone itself got damaged. It's perfectly fine, looks like brand new. Like I said, there's a light scratch on the, the screen protector that it came with. You can't probably can't even see it, but that that's nothing happens. So if you're not aware of the OtterBox commuter series, it is a two-piece case. The inner part of the case is this rubber, which will add protection if it drops and falls and lands on any of the corners, because obviously this is going to cushion the phone. And it does do a good job at that. As I mentioned, the phone was unharmed. You'll see then this outer case is a plastic, kind of harder plastic case that snaps over the rubber. So that gives you that dual layer case protection. And this actually is what got damaged. So if you look here, the main point of impact was this bottom corner. And you can see it's like busted. <laughs> uh, it kind of split down the middle. So it kind of hit, I, can, I don't know if you can really see this, but I think it hit like right on this corner. And then it made the little smash mark. And then there's two cracks. So this bigger piece, and it just kind of split three ways there. And then it flipped around and somehow hit the top corner. And I don't know if you can see this. Right here, you can see this piece busted off. And I don't even know where it went. It shot off into the distance. But beyond that, the rest of the plastic even looks fine. So just these two pieces, the top corner that chipped off, and then that bottom corner that's split, that's what happened, right? So the cool, I mean, the good thing is I went to the OtterBox website, I submitted a warranty claim, and I haven't received it yet, but they are sending me a new back plate for this case for free. So no charge for to ship it, nothing at all. I don't know if that's the case normally, but you know, I just took some pictures, I sent them along with the case, I said, hey, you know, I dropped this, this broke, is there anything you can do? There was a little bit of a delay in them responding. So I submitted this about two weeks ago and I was waiting to see what they would say before I would do this video. Um, Cause if they said, no, we're not gonna replace it, then you know I was gonna mention that in the video, but they basically said, yep, we're gonna replace it. They already shipped it. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, but as soon as I emailed them again and said, hey, what's the status of this ticket? They immediately replied and said, oh, we're sorry for the delay, COVID-19, here you go. We'll, we'll replace it for free. So good thing. First time I've had to test out the OtterBox warranty. And so far, you know, I haven't received it yet, but they had no problems sending me a replacement. So that's all I really wanted to cover in this. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking on different videos around drop protection on the cases that I've reviewed. And this is the first time I've dropped the phone. And like I said, it was in the OtterBox commuter. Nothing wrong with the phone, perfectly fine. Chipped the case, broke the corner of the plastic. OtterBox is gonna send a replacement. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. This is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.